so video performance on YouTube. So uh, a couple key things to consider and look at. Uh, obviously, once the video has been out for, I believe it's somewhere in the 72 hour time frame, you'll have your uh, audience retention graph. That'll give you a pretty good indication on what is doing well, you know, how the how the video is performing and uh, as far as like keeping people watching. Uh, a couple metrics to consider at the one minute mark, having 70% of your viewership still there. Um, that is that is a generally good rule of thumb of, hey, you have a really good hook to your video and should keep doing that style of intro. Um, another thing uh, that is nice to hit, but not necessarily like it doesn't doesn't you don't have to hit it every single time is I like to see that, you know, 40 to 50 percent of the people stick around for the entirety of the video. That's a, that's like an awesome performing video. Um, and then as far as uh, other metrics to consider, uh, you'll want to over time, keep track of the click-through rate of the video. How well is it performing? Um, you'll wanna look kind of more broadly at your channel analytics to see, kind of look at what is your click-through rate compared to videos that also, um, that have similar levels of impressions. So uh, typically speaking, you know, if, you're, if you've got a small channel, you're probably looking at, you know, hundreds to thousands of impressions. And then for a slight larger channel, you're probably looking at impressions that are in the, you know, thousands to tens of thousands. Um, but basically what you want to look at specifically is, is what is the click through rate of that video relative to other videos that are performing, uh, getting the same amount of exposure um, and trying to improve your thumbnails and titles in order to help improve that click through rate relative to the other videos on your channel. Uh, what else would I add to what Drew said? I mean, I, I like it. Um, I think start to pay attention to the series that you do. So maybe you have a coaching series. Maybe you have a, a gameplay series. Maybe you have a direct-to-camera series. Maybe you have a book review series. Like start paying attention. Once you're making content, you start paying attention to the different series. And a one-off video... Uh, Good or bad is not the end of the world. It's more, what can you replicate? What can you do consistently? And so series are where you can start to have a lot of fun. Um, and then I'd also add just fun. Like how much fun did you have doing it? I think when you just start to treat it like a job and there's such a thing as over-optimizing, you basically just buy yourself a job. It's not fun anymore. You're doing it just to try to get clicks and views. And if that's the angle you're taking, you you will quit at some point. So. Everything Drew said, plus series optimization and fun optimization.